एजेंट्स ऑफ ग्रेडेशन रिवर्स नेचर हैज स्ट्रेंज वेज ऑफ मेकिंग इट्स प्रेजेंस फेल्ट एंड वन ऑफ देम इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रेडेशन रॉक्स गेट ब्रोकन इंटू स्मॉलर एंड स्मॉलर पीसेस व्हिच आर ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रेडेशन इन व्हिच द ट्रांसपोर्टेड मटेरियल गेट्स एक्यूमुलेटेड somewhere else and results into a new landform how does a process of gradation take place gradation is possible because of agents of gradation such as rivers glaciers wind and waves agents of gradation are helped by the force of gravity except in case of wind action which carries the sediment up a slope all the other agents of gradation move sediment down the slope all agents of gradation simultaneously carry on the process of erosion as well as deposition of sediments let us take a look at the agents of gradation one by one rivers are the most dominant agents of gradation the running water of the rivers makes them capable of eroding transporting as well as depositing sediments on a large scale the swift flow of the rivers can move even large rocks and boulders and hence plays a dominant role in the process of erosion large rocks break apart as they knock around and the small pieces are carried by the river scrape and dig into the river bed the shape of the river valley changes as the river flows through the three courses the first course is the upper course where the river usually flows through mountainous regions here the volume of water is not much but it flows swiftly because of the steep gradients the river in the upper course builds typical landforms let us learn them one by one the first landform is called gorge or i shaped valley which is created in mountainous regions that are made of hard rock and receive little rainfall an i shaped valley is quite narrow with vertical walls around it a gorge of considerable size is known as a canyon the second landform formed by the upper course is a v shaped valley it is formed when a river flows through a mountainous region that is made of relatively soft rock and receives plenty of rainfall another landform formed by the upper course is a waterfall which is a steep descent of a river over a rocky ledge when a river flows from hard rock to soft rock the softer rock gets eroded and forms a ledge when water falls over this ledge it creates a depression which is called plunge pool rapids are another landform created by the upper course rapids are the areas of broken and fast flowing water in a stream which has a slight gradient a series of big and small rapids is known as cascades in rapids water trembles over or around rocks and boulders as it flows swiftly through a narrow part of the rivers the last landform formed by the upper course of the river is a cataract which is nothing but a series of rapids over a large river it is often applied to waterfalls of a large volume let us have a look at the middle course of the river in which the river enters the plain here the gradient of the river bed decreases and hence 
the volume of water increases. The main work of the middle course is the transportation of sediments. The middle course plays an important role in the process of deposition as well. There are certain typical landforms developed by the river in the middle course and the first of these types is called an alluvial fan. When the speed of the river decreases suddenly, it drops its load of sand and gravel near the base of the slope while the finer material is carried away. The second landform is the flood plain. In the middle course, the gradient becomes flat and the downward erosion is reduced. More of the river's energy is directed from side to side, which means that the river cuts away at one bank and then at another, which widens the river valley, forming flood plain. Another landform produced by the middle course. When a meandering river cuts across the narrow necks of the land and forms almost a complete circle, an oxbow lake is created. Braided river is another landform created by the middle course. When a river carries an enormous amount of load, it is unable to carry it to the mouth and the channel becomes clogged which causes the river to divide into many intertwining channels forming islands in the river channel. Such a river is known as braided river. A braided river is very useful in case of navigation and transportation, irrigation as well as in the production of hydroelectricity. The other section of the river is the lower stage. In this region, the gradient is almost flat and hence the river flows slowly and sluggishly due to the heavy load that it is carrying. Thus, the main work of this region is deposition. Let us understand the landforms formed by the lower stage of the river. The first landform is a delta, which means a small triangle. The sediments are deposited in the river channel where the river meets the sea and a new land is formed, which is called delta. When sediments built up along the river's main channel, the channel gets blocked and the river is forced to divide into branches called distributaries which is the second landform formed by the lower stage of the river. Rivers running through rocky coasts do not form deltas. Instead they form estuaries. An estuary is a river with a funnel shaped wide bay at its mouth. Most estuaries have a mixture of fresh water and salt water and their water levels rise and fall with the tides. Estuaries are very ideal environments that provide perfect homes for birds and wildlife. Let's take a quick look at how a river valley is developed. The first stage in the river valley development is the youthful stage during which the river just begins the work of erosion which is very powerful due to the steep gradient. V-shaped valleys are formed during the youthful stage. The second stage in the valley development is the mature stage in which the widening work is faster than the deepening work.
Hence, the valleys formed are wider. An example of the same is the U-shaped valley. The third stage in the process of valley development is the old stage in which the river deposits sediments, thereby making the valleys broad and shallow. Deltas are formed during this stage.